I'm Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing pen stuff. And today's pen stuff was sent over to me by Limited Pens Korea. And I'm very excited because I recently did their Pink Sands. And it's the Memento Zero Grande version. This is a slightly smaller pen, which fits my hand a little better. And I'm very excited. So let's get cracking. Let's talk about it. I have the packaging half unpackaged and the reason is because it's one of those sleeves that is really hard to get off so I it's all torn up and stuff so that's annoying but whatever it's insignificant the box is the Leonardo style box and sleeve inside you have just the usual the clamshell and you have the pen and you have your paperwork. Now the pen has, okay, and then your paperwork talks a little bit about Leonardo and the filling system, you know, stuff that is worth looking at if you're new to pens and if you're interested in pens. So the pen is this absolute beauty. What pen is this? This is the Momento Magico, and it's the Omnia Amethyst, limited of 50 pieces. The material was made by Jonathan Brooks of Carolina Pen Company, and it is called Omnia Amethyst. The, inter the <clears throat> interesting part is that it has the first gold in-house nib that Leonardo has made. So I'm really excited to share this with you and sorry <laughs> uh it's it's beautiful and i'm excited about the nib so the pen so the magico has these slightly conical ends the rolling clip the like thing design which you see on here as the center band it is a piston filler you have a nice big ink window um and, sorry, I'm going to move this over. I know you can't see me right now. Sorry, sorry. You're just going to have to manage. Uh, uh. And the nib. So, first of all, I'm a big fan of the size. I have lent out my pink sand, so unfortunately I am not comparing it right now. But we have the Pilot Custom A23, the Memento Magico, Pilot Metropolitan, Lamy Safari, Jinhao X750, Twisby 580, Platinum Preppy, and Quebec Sport. So in terms of size, full size, a perfect size pen, really. Like, it's really nice. I really like it. And I'm all that matters. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a beautiful pen. The trim is rose gold, and it's quite lovely. It has shimmering deep purple and black and I'm gonna excuse myself to look at the screen for a second hopefully I can capture it in this light it's gloomy today the side shots will show it off a little better it's a really beautiful pen I mean shimmery purple and red sorry uh, rose gold trim no-brainer now the nib is gold as we say <laughs> as we say as we know it is rose gold this is a fine it has an ebonite feed so i'm really excited to share this with you first thing we're gonna do is get a piece of paper so i don't oil up my page that's disgusting i know i'm sorry um we have the it's a little dry because I had it sitting. That's totally fine. Limited Pens Korea. This is the Leonardo Momento Magico. Omnia Amethyst. 
Fist. It is limited edition, 50 pens. Now, because you have a gold nib and exclusive limited, etc., it's 545 US dollars. They are offering free worldwide shipping with DHL, just so you know. The ink, wait, first, it's a little, it's a fine nib, so it's not super wet. And the ink is, I have this written because I don't know, Sanosu by pen and message. I got this from CY at the DC Pen Show, and I thought that was a perfect match. So here we are with Sanosu pen and message. Wait, pen and message Sanosu. Absolutely superb nib. You know how I feel about fine nibs, right? Like, I'm not crazy about them. This nib is superb. It is perfectly tuned. It has just enough feedback that it's catching the page as I write, so it's not going to slip. And as such, you have a lot of control over the, your handwriting. This pen is also unbelievably comfortable. The Momento Zero, I love, but somehow... This one just feels different. Maybe it's because of the ink capacity having a little bit more weight in the pen. I don't know. I absolutely love it. It's incredibly comfy. It feels really good. It does post. It's long. It's not heavy. Like when it posts, it's still pretty good. Absolutely gorgeous. I just, I'm crazy about this pen. So um, let's do some swirls, some loop the loops. With pressure, you can squeeze out a broad. It keeps up pretty well. I'm uh, seriously, I I was writing notes with this and I wrote a couple letters and like it was just so comfy, so so balanced and just the nib just writes so nicely, which is really exciting because I don't have a problem with Jovo and Bach nibs. I really love them, but it's really fun that a manufacturer is making in-house nibs again. And they're not the only ones, but it's nice that they have switched from Bach and Jovo to making their own nibs. So let's do even finish my sentence let's do some writing absolute delight that feedback is a delight it just truly helps to control the nibs skipping off the on the page and it so it doesn't skip and if you're someone who likes writing with nibs with feedback that are well tuned mm, it's killer so I'm really excited now let's go take a look at it from the side because it's so beautiful it deserves to be adored and then we'll come back.
I really like this pen. So I'm a big fan of this nib. I love what they're doing. And this whole package is fabulous. So a huge thank you to Limited Pens Korea. And thank you all for your support and for watching. I hope you had fun. And as always, links are below. I am Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. You could find me on social media and Patreon, should you wish to lend your support. Gourmet Pens. If not, hop, skip, and jump on over to Limited Pens Korea because it's expensive, but it's really nice. Oh well, you only live once. May as well cram it full of pens and inks. So, <laughs> okay. That's all. I hope you had fun. We'll see you on the next video. Ciao.